What's going on YouTube, the Jane Ren here, and I'm bringing you something that I apparently did not read through all the notes. When the patch for uh, the new update 3.5 came out on World of Tanks, because uh, I was playing my Patton, and this is the game where I realized that something something, something changed, and, and something changed for the better. Um, yeah, apparently they buffed the Patton. Uh, so if you ever thought about getting the Patton or you felt like it was a weaker tank, um, have no fear. They had changed the gun. The gun on this thing has become really, really nice. Uh, I wasn't. I noticed that I was playing, and then um, I looked and I'm like, "Whoa, what's going on?" I'm, you know, I had a really good game, and you know. I have good games in Patton, don't get me wrong, I had it before the, they buffed it, but I noticed that something something had changed a little bit on the gun. I was aiming better, and I was able to take some of these crazy shots way faster than before, and um, stuff like that too. Uh, so while I was playing with my clan, and one of them mentioned that the 48 Patton had gotten a buff. And sure enough, I looked up online, and they did. They actually buffed the 105mm gun on the Patton. Um, so here the statistics changed, uh, reload time from 8.8 .8 down to 8.35. Um, so my reload is now under seven seconds or 6.61 seconds, which is really nice. Um, but also I have, a I I use gun rammer, uh, as you can see, Coke and stuff like that to help with everything. And I believe I also use Vendley, um, the, uh, vents as well too, which help. Uh, with reload time um, aim time drop 0.1 seconds which helps a lot and actually what helps even more so is shot dispersion during turret rotation so uh, the shot dispersion is the big old reticle that white reticle that you see it'll bloom bigger when you turn the turret or when you move back and forth and stuff like that too so they changed that to from 0.12 to 0 0.08 so you're able to do these quick sn snapshots like that you can barely see the turret the the ring move and I move it over um, so yeah, that was actually pretty cool that they, they did that. It was awesome. Um, so this is more in line of what you find in the PC now, because the patent that we had before was the nerfed patent that you had, uh, that they had in PC for the longest time. And I think just a couple, I think just earlier this, earlier last year, they, uh, gave it a buff to what it is. It is now, and it's the same in, in console too. So, uh, it's really nice. I was, I was hoping they'd do something like that. And obviously, Wargaming did, and, and that was awesome. And then I noticed, too, they did they changed a whole bunch of things. Um, the view range for a bunch of tanks went up. A bunch of them, the light tanks, a bunch of the lower tier link tanks went down, and so did their uh, a camo as well, too. Um, so, yeah, interesting, interesting stuff. Uh, I recommend always reading through the... Uh, the full patch notes for vehicle changes and stuff, because they make a lot of changes here. Uh, there's there's too many for me to really go over, um, but if you feel like you want to go through it, you're more than welcome to. I'll leave a link um, below uh, for that. If you if you notice the vehicle change and want to see what the differences are, um, they they kind of tell you there. So, yeah, this is the the first game that I played with after it got buffed and it. I had a pretty good game. I, I just recorded um, part of it because I didn't realize that until like the next game. I, I recorded that last game, the next game after this, uh, which was an E5 game, and that one was I did really well too. Um, but I, the, the E5 I always do well. I love my E5. Um, I'm working on getting my third mark of excellence on that thing, but I'm sitting at 90% ever so often. And when I, and I, I, I play with my clan, and it sucks because. Um, oh, that was a really nice shot. Put the needle right there. Um, yeah, playing with my clan is a uh, double-edged sword. So we do well enough where we win the majority of our games. Um, downside is, since we all play so well, uh, we basically are <laughs> trying to shoot as much stuff as we can. Um, so we all don't get to, you know, people will have really nice games. Um, and then some people will not have the greatest games. It's really weird. Um, and then a lot of times we're always like spread the love so much <laughs> damage that it's hard for me to get my third mark. So I rarely ever use my T1025 when I'm with my with my clan. 
Uh, if you don't know, my clan is WPSND. It's an offshoot of uh, SND, which is Seek and Destroy. Uh, they're, Seek and Destroy is a whole bunch of Unicums, and WPSND is people that are just below or on their way or trying to get to Unicum. Uh, our WN8s are all above 1,500. Uh, the majority of them are like 19 over 2,000. Um, so it's, it's pretty fun. It's it's fun to play with guys who you can count on and are reliable enough that you can just leave them be and know that they'll handle, handle their crap in a game. Um, so it's fun. It's fun playing with those guys um, a lot. So I, I played with them. I play with S&D now too. Um, so I'm always usually in a clan for the most part or in a platoon with a bunch of these guys too. And they help me get better as well too. I recommend finding people that are good and playing with them and you can kind of see what they do. Um, so, oh, the dogs are barking. So... Yeah, um, so that's what I noticed, and my wife just got back home, uh, but the dogs are barking. So I'll leave that here, I'll uh, let you guys f uh, finish off this, and you'll see the, um, yeah, the uh, after action report. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys, in leave a like down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.